For some reason, people are drawn to weird, fantasy, gothic, and romantic fonts. I can't understand it myself. The goal of PowerPoint is legibility, uh, yet I've seen lots of PowerPoint slides that have weird fonts on them, like the quote from Kofi Annan you see on your screen now. And I'm going to scroll down my thumbnails here and show you a bulleted list done in an old English Gothic font. <laughs> and scroll further down through our presentation. Uh, here's a slide that has used the cursive font again. And another. And just to top things off, uh, Algerian font on this one. As I say, this is not uncommon to find PowerPoint presentations that have been constructed this way. And when it's your job to clean them up, there's a tool that PowerPoint provides to make the work easy. And it's the Replace Font command. Let me show you where that is. I'm going to come back to this uh, slide that has the cursive font on it. On the Home tab, click the drop down next to Replace and choose Replace Fonts. And the really good news about this command is in the Replace drop down, it lists only the fonts that are used in our presentation. So I can find the Brush Script Standard uh, font up here and replace it with uh, Century Gothic. Okay, now all I have to do is click the Replace button and PowerPoint will run through the entire presentation and replace every instance of that brush script, the cursive one, with Century Gothic. Uh, Century Gothic is the uh, theme font that is used in the Ion theme that I'm using. Now let's go ahead and replace that uh, Old English font too. So I come up and choose Replace, click Replace Font, choose Old English Text MT, and find my theme font here, Century Gothic, and click Replace. And bingo, done again. We have one more font to do, that Algerian font. Replace font, Algerian, with Century Gothic. Replace, and we're done. Thanks for listening.